good looking. Look what I did. Oh, I cut it all off. I didn't even know I was going to do it. <laughs> I just woke up one morning last week and thought, I am so sick of my hair. I've got it all chopped off. I'm happy I did it, but I'm getting used to it. Getting used to it. Anyways, let's go work out. And before we continue going any further, FYI, there could be a little bit of swearing in this workout. So please do not have small children or those that are easily offended in the room with you. Let's go. Hello there, good looking. Hey, I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and today's workout is a total body workout. It is awesome! I know, I say that every workout, right? But could you imagine a fitness instructor walking on, you turning it on, and them saying, today's workout is effing crappy. Yeah, just not so motivating. <laughs> so anyways, it is an awesome workout. You will need a pair of heavy dumbbells, moderate dumbbells, and light dumbbells. So dumbbells you can press above the head. Dumbbells you can do rows with, dumbbells you can do chest press with, and dumbbells to lunge with. Yes, yes, let's go. Here we go, feet apart, center yourself. Good, abdominals engaged, yeah? You don't wanna be all loosey-goosey. Now, big arm circles. So welcome, if you have never been to my channel before or one of my workouts, I am PJ, I warm you up, I cool you down, I work you out. All you have to do is put your runners on, baby. I am here for you. Now open and close those arms. Now this workout I gave to my class earlier, they loved it. We used some extra tools though, like TRXs and tubing, and I don't like to do that too much on my channel because I want these workouts accessible to anybody. So you should seriously have dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells by now, go to the store. Last four, three, two, one. All right, let's try a little bit of lunge pattern here. Take that right leg, lift it back, look up, reach up, feet together, other leg, good. So we're stepping a good fair distance behind us, bending that front knee so it lines up with the ankle, warming up into the hip flexor, the quads, oh man, the ankle, and then by getting the arms up and sweeping them by the ear, we're warming up the shoulders. So kind of getting everything. Oh, feels good. I've been sitting at the computer for the last three hours. This feels really good. Last four, three, two, one more for me. One, excellent. Let's take it in a lateral pattern with our lunge now. Take that right leg, step across, touch the toe, feet together, do it again. So we're stepping out as far to the side as we can to warm up the lateral hip, inner thighs. Pushing the hips rear and keeping that spine neutral so we're hinging from that hip joint. It's a nice way to warm up, as I said, that lateral aspect of the body. Yeah, so the first time I washed my hair after getting it cut, holy cow, I just need the little tiny, tiny bit of shampoo now. And a little tiny, tiny bit of conditioner. It's gonna take me literally a decade to get through a bottle of shampoo now. Last two. One more. Beautiful, all right, other side. Ready, step out wide. Good, remember, one leg straight, one leg bent, push the bum back. Reach across, chest lifted, keep your eyes straight ahead. So we're starting today's workout we have three different types of workouts in today's one workout. Lucky us, huh? And we're starting out today's workout in a ladder drill. I'll talk you through it, don't worry. Two more. Last one. And release. All right, bring the heels up like this in a hamstring curl. And then if you're comfortable with some sort of bounce, I want you to give, give me a little bit of a bum kick here. So a ladder workout is where we do exercise one and two. And then we go back, one, two, three. Then we go back and do one, two, three, four. So I always go back to one and then add a new exercise in. We have a total of six exercises, 45 seconds on the clock. Good, keep kicking. So you wanna keep the knees lined up with the hips, bring the heels up to the bottom. You can stay with that low impact version that we started with too. Another 10 seconds. And time. 
All right, grab a sip of water because we're not going to get one for a little bit now. So, we need to start with heavy dumbbell. We're going to start with a basic squat pattern and then work our way from there. Sit. Ooh. Feet shoulder width apart. Now, from this position, I keep this last workout. It's a really good um, cue for you to think about firing up your outer hip muscles so your knees track in the correct direction, which is straight ahead. I want you to pretend you're standing on a piece of newspaper and then try to rip it apart with your feet. Can you feel those outer hip muscles engage? Those are the guys I want you to engage while we squat, all right? Pushing the bum back and all that jazz. So let's give it a try here. Nice and tall on the body, push back, good, and up. Shoulders are back, so we're not allowing the dumbbells to roll forward. They're actually staying behind the knees when we come down. Now you don't have to have dumbbells for this, okay? Or you could have one or your lighter dumbbells. It's your workout, baby cakes. All I want you to do is move. <laughs> so you choose how you want to do it, and I will keep leading you. So hips back, knees tracking straight ahead. So we have 45 seconds of this, and then we're grabbing our moderate pair of dumbbells. So in my case, I'm gonna grab 10s, and we've got a narrow to wide row for our back muscles. Time. Okay, grab your moderates. Now, I want you to take that top of the leg, place your fingertips there, and then hinge over and soften the knees. Now roll the arms up, elbows brushing by the rib cage, straighten the arms, turn the palms facing you and row wide. So narrow, elbows brushed by the rib cage, wide, elbows line up with the shoulders. Here's the front view, narrow, wide, good. And you're forward leaning through the hip joint, so nothing's going on in that low back of yours. If you feel your low back, reposition yourself. You want that neutral spine. Draw on those abdominals and focus on your upper back and mid back muscles doing this move. So, really nice posture exercise right here. One more up. Time. Okay, we're going to take it from the top before we add another move. So, heavy dumbbells. Standing on that newspaper. Squat. Excellent. Bum back. See if you can drop down a little lower. It's our second set. Knees should be warmer. Ankles should be getting a little bit more mobile. So, last week I didn't drop a YouTube channel. Or YouTube channel. I didn't drop a YouTube workout because I was sick. And I still am. And this past year and a half, I have been sick too much because I'm supposed to be the healthy one in the family. Loving husband hasn't been sick. It irritates me. Going into that narrow to wide row, one more squat. Time, grab your moderates. Forward fold, again, neutral spine, okay? Arms straight, slightly ahead of the shoulders, narrow row. Wide, excellent. Keep that forward fold. Knees are bent. So we're keeping these moderate dumbbells for the next exercise. Beginners, you'll grab your lights. Try to find a tempo, right? Smooth, steady. Not pausing as your arms straighten. Time. All right, taking ourselves down. I'll show you what we're doing. We're doing four of these and then jump to a squat and press up. If you do not like doing the four jumping jacks and applying, you can do two lunge, curl press. Okay, let's give it a try. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Jump into a squat. Up, press, finish in a squat, jump out. Four, three, two, one. So make sure you're doing a squat here, not bending through your back.
four, lunge each leg back, and then give me a hammer curl and a press. Tap. So again, next time we do this, right, there's your modified. All right, from the top, squat with the heavies. Woo. Big smiles, ready, go. Remember, you signed up for this. <laughs> But really, this is all right, isn't it? The hardest part was probably you turning on your computer and pushing play, or your iPad. That is the hardest part of the workout, is just the damn start. Even I've been procrastinating most of the day filming this damn thing. And now that I'm here, I'm loving it. Thinking, why didn't I start working out earlier? I don't know. One more, dive. All right, narrow to wide rows. So you get where we're going with the ladder, right? Fantastic. All right, forward fold. Good, neutral spine, abs engaged, oh yeah. So now this back exercise also turns into a core exercise. So we're adding those new moves, that new move, plank jacks to press. But our next exercise, and then we're adding a new one. So we're moving on to exercise four soon. Remember, we have six to do. So that could have been totally motivating or that could have just killed your motivation mojo. I'm not sure. <laughs> My apologies if we kill it. We're halfway. <laughs> Done, all right. Well, not quite halfway. <laughs> Plank jacks for four and then jump up and press or lunge, lunge, hammer curl press. Ready? Go. Four, three, two, one. Jump, press, bend those knees. See how much I bend to get down there? Not my back. So it's my knees bending. Wrists under the shoulders when I do this plank jack. Awesome. This is our chest press move, exercise four. Working into the chest, anterior deltoid, triceps, and then in our bridge, we get the glutes involved, hamstrings involved. Now get ready, we're gonna take it from the top with our squats with these heavies in a couple seconds. Time, all right, roll yourself up. <laughs> you know you're getting old when you make noises when you get up off the floor. <laughs> oh lordy, ready, squat. <laughs> we were at a local uh, drugstore the other night, Shoppers Drug Mart, pretty big grocery store. Uh, Pretty big drugstore. Anyways, they have uh, every last Thursday of the month, seniors 10% off. So we went to go pick up a bunch of stuff. And for a joke, I was with a loving husband. I said to the cashier, I said, hey, how old do you have to be for seniors? And he like nudges me like, get out. <laughs> she said 55. <laughs> He's 56, so we got a seniors discount. Oh my God. I laughed. He didn't laugh quite as much as me. <laughs> But 55 seems really young to be called a senior. <laughs> but done. Narrow to wide rows, moderate dumbbells. So if you're local and you need someone for some cheap cosmetics or toilet paper on the last Thursday of every month, I'm renting loving husband out. <laughs> All right, hinge forward. 
narrow row, wide. And of course, I had to broadcast this all on social media. <sighs> nice long spine. So this exercise here balances out that chest press coming down the rope. So we get a balance when we do all my workouts, making sure you hit all the muscles. We're not just training one particular group. I want you balanced and functional. Plank jacks to press coming up. Time. All right, plank jacks to press or one lunge each leg and then hammer curl press. Here we go, wrist under the shoulders, go. Four, three, two, one. And those knees when you get down there, not the back. Almost there, chest press coming up. Ta! Woo, finish that baby off. All right, let's hit the decks. Heavy dumbbells. Bridge. Ankles in line with knees, hips up, and press. Elbows in line with the shoulders when you start, wrists over the elbows. So we're adding on after this move. We'll be standing. Beginners, no dumbbell. Intermediate advanced, grab your legs. I always like to pre-cue because I want you to know where we're going so we don't waste time getting set up. So we get the flow of the move, you keep your heart rate up, you get the most out of the workout. Time. All right, so light dumbbells held at the shoulders. Quickly show you. You're gonna give me a power squat out, and in, and then press. If you don't like jumping, power squat out, press. Other side, press. Okay, so let's try it. Dumbbells at shoulders. Jump out soft, land strong. So we're lining out wide, toes turned out a bit, knees tracking with them. Abs engage, right? Oh my God, there's a ton of core here as we press the dumbbells up above our head. Woo, it's good stuff, baby. You got that option. Step out, press. Step out, press. Time. Woo, all right, from the top, squats, heavy dumbbells. It's water soon, don't worry. Feet hip width and squatter up. So we're gonna learn the last move of the series here, but then after that we still have one more time through. So we do it in its entirety without any building. Still with me? I hope so. <laughs> Hang in there, baby cakes. The best is yet to come. Die. All right, narrow to wide row. Moderates. Or keep the heavies if you can. Hinge, row. Good. Wide. Excellent. Long spine. You want that upper body as parallel to your floor as you can get it. So you're not upright, okay? You're forward folding, but over the hip. So you keep that neutral spine. Plank jacks to press, coming up. Die. All right, plank jacks for four. 
core and then up and press, or reverse lunge each leg, hammer curl press. Ready, set, go. Four, three, two, one. Jump up, press up. Woo, good. If we start going too fast and we lose our form. I've seen it all when I go to classes, other people's classes and in the gym. So we're learning our final move now after this. One more time. All right, hands on the hips, no dumbbells. Do three shuffles and then land into a squat. Feet apart, one in front of the other. It's three, two, one, squat. Three, two, one. If you don't like that, give me a hip extension each leg and then squat, okay? Otherwise, three, two, one, drop it. Three, two, one. right now. We can get water after this round. Cross my heart. Narrow to wide row with the moderate dumbbells coming up. One more. Time. All right, grab those moderates. Remember, lean forward through the hip joint there. Neutral spine. Narrow to wide. Breathe. Yeah. Last set.
Plank jacks and press coming up. Oh yeah. Woo, time. All right, four plank jacks, up squat press or lunge lunge hammer curl press. Start down if you can, wrist with the shoulders. Go, four, three, two, one. Jump, squat, press. Now finish that squat and do it again. Grab a pair of lighter dumbbells or no dumbbells. Pretend you got some. Just don't stop, okay? We're almost there. Time. Woo. All right. So starting with the hands or dumbbells at shoulders, feet together. You can slow it down and go with a squat or jump it out. Power it in, up, good, out, land soft, land strong. Final move, moving into that shuffle, shuffle squat we learned last round. too, okay? So grab some water, grab a mat, and one heavy dumbbell. So no mat, ha, both heavy dumbbells. 
Before we get going, let's get set up for success and learn a good looking deadlift, okay? So, a deadlift is great to train into the hamstrings, isolates the glutes, the low back and the core, and then your hip stabilizers are chiming in as well. However, it's done incorrectly quite a bit, causing a lot of problems to our low backs. So, first off, feet hip width apart. Great, root yourself. Now soften your knees. Now place your hands right where the tops of your thighs end. Now collapse over your hands. So see how long my spine is? That's how long your spine should be. That's where we hinge. When we say hinge from the hip, that's where we mean, okay? Where a lot of people will hinge is through the waist, where the belly button is, like that, and that causes you some serious impingement problems in the lower lumbar. So, pretend you have the dumbbells. Remember that hip hinge? Come down, dumbbell slide down your leg, like shaving your legs, and then come back up again. Great. Now, when we do this, I want you to take a look straight ahead and find where your ceiling and wall meet. I stay there when you're up, and then I stay there when you come down. Unless you're really close to the wall, I don't want you to knock too much back. But where I'm trying to aim here for is you're not dropping the head, you're keeping a little bit of eye lift forward. Okay, we have 45 seconds of deadlifts, and then we hit the mat with one dumbbell. We have two rounds of seven glute exercises. So great exercises to build the booty in addition to building our rear end and low back, so our core and helping us be strong with all of our movement patterns. So grab your heavies, feet hip width apart, neutral spine, hip hinge, soft knees, shoulders back and down, slide the arms down, look up slightly. Great. So these are big muscles, so I hope you have some heavy dumbbells. However, if you're unsure whether or not you are holding neutral spine, then start with no dumbbells or light ones until you can either take a look at your spine in a mirror or get a professional to take a look at your deadlift pattern. One more time. All right. Heavy dumbbell. Knees hip width apart. Dumbbell resting on top of the hip. So your bum's going to take the load while you bridge up. Come down till your bum barely touches and do it again. Feet hip width apart as I said. Knees lined up with the um, hips. And you're just lightly holding that dumbbell with your hand so it doesn't roll down the belly. You don't want the arms taking up the load. Your hips take up the load. Squeezing that booty on that very top phase. Get the most out of this lift. Time. All right, dumbbell all the way. Get back into that bridge. This time feet together and open the knees up so the bottoms of your feet are touching. From here, push into the sides of your feet, squeeze the glutes and lift up. Place the arms down by your side, palms up and hold. So you're gonna feel this in the glutes and then we've got the adductors kicked in as well, your inner thighs. So you just lift and hold. If your legs start to shake, that's normal, hang in there. Woo. 45 second hold. Oh yeah, I feel this one. How about you at home? Oh lordy. <laughs> My heart is vibrating. This is awesome. Awesome. Dive. Woo! Just in the nick of time. Okay, take it on the forearms for me. Tighten up the core, knees under the hips. Straighten your right leg only, flex your right foot. Press your heel up to your ceiling and then lower the leg halfway down, do it again. So I want you to deliberately place the leg up there using your glute. Don't just throw it up there using momentum and letting the low back arch. So you're very solid in the core area. You should pretty feel this pretty much right away in the tush. Now you're gonna feel that right glute working and then that left side, because it's holding you. Oh yeah, baby. Woo, time. 
Now come on the right hand, stay on that left forearm. Bring the leg out to your side now, so that right leg lines up with the hip, inside of the knee and inside of the foot facing the ground. Now lift up and kick towards your head and go back. Good, so lean into that left side of the body while you try to kick your head. <laughs> So last one on this leg, then we're gonna do the straight leg behind us on the left. Woo wee, so this you're gonna feel getting in the glute, a little bit more in the outer hip now, and then that left side, you betcha, should be burning, it's stabilizing, it's holding us here. Oh. Tie, woo wee, all right, on your forearms. Left leg extends, left foot flex, press that heel up to the ceiling and lower halfway. Other knee should be under your hip. Abs are engaged, we're not throwing the leg up there, can't stress that enough. You are being deliberate, you are using that left glute. inside of the knee and inside the foot parallel to your floor. Lean in your right side, lift the leg up and kick towards your head and down. We're almost there. So we've got to take this one more time from the top with our deadlifts, but only one more time. This works, huh? Yeah, die. Woo, baby. All right, grab your hands. You got those deadlifts. Hinging through that hip joint, remember? Good. Knees hip width apart, softness in the knees, shoulders back and down, gaze is slightly ahead of you. Second round, you might be able to get a little lower. However, remembering we're not lowering lower because our back is rounding to get there. It's solely to the grace and the length of our hamstrings. Bridges with our heavy dumbbell coming up. Time. All right, one heavy. Woo. Face up, feet hip width apart, dumbbell on the hips, drive up, lower down till your bum just barely kisses your mat and back up again. Knees are lined up with the hips. And tuck that chin in so we've got that length in the back of your neck. Your chin's not jutting up towards your ceiling. Might as well get the upper body nice and comfy while we're kicking the crap out of the ass. <laughs> oh yeah. Butterfly bridge coming up. Time. All right. So. Feet stay together, open up the knees. Now you've got the insoles touching, arms down by your side, palms up, lift your hips and hold. So squeeze into the bum, and then you'll push a little bit on the outside of that foot there, resting on your mat. Last round, 
See if you can get a little higher. Got that right leg straight leg lifting on the forearms. Right leg straight, flex the foot. Bring it a little off the ground and now press the heel up to your ceiling and slowly lower. Both hips stay in line with your mat so you're not rounding or pardon me, twisting and lifting that right hip up as you lift the leg. Other knee underneath the hip. Core engaged, baby. This exercise is really easy to do wrong and you will get absolutely nothing happening in the glutes. That's not why we're here. We're here to do it right. <laughs> Time. Woo. All right. Come up onto that right hand. Bring that right leg out to your side. We want to be rotated so that inside of the foot is parallel to your floor. Lift and kick. Woo wee. Thank goodness we're only doing two rounds of this. I don't think my butt could take three rounds. However, you know what? You'd be surprised at what our bodies can do if we just keep on doing it. <laughs> if we don't let our brains get in the way. I once did a half marathon and never trained for it. Of course, I was ill the whole rest of the day and crippled the next day, but I did it under two hours. <laughs> I never did another one again. <laughs> don't ask me why I didn't train. I, I, and don't ask me why I did a half marathon. I'm, I'm not a runner. Done. <laughs> I went with a client to support him. Oh, all right, here we go. Left leg. I'm gonna come this way so you can see the left leg. So foot flex and press up. The loving husband stayed in bed. Because <laughs> these things start early, right? We were in Victoria. <laughs> he met me at the finish line. <laughs> oh, that man. harder on this leg, isn't it? Because it's already fatigued and then the other one's screaming at you because it's stabilizing and just finished working. Dime. Cool, yeah. All right, come on to the left hand. Bring that leg out. Ready? Lift it up and kick. I think now at 47 though I could get away with running a half marathon without training. <laughs> no. Forget how old I was. I think I was 40. Time! All right, sit back on your heels. Give your glutes a bit of a stretch. Oh yeah. Oh, there goes Bella. Bella. She's barking at people walking by again. All they're trying to do is say hi to her. She's such a bag. Okay, so here's the scoop. If you gotta go, you can go. Or if you can stay with me for two rounds of my ab circuit, that would be awesome. They won't take long. We have five exercises, 30 seconds an exercise. Um, two rounds, as I said. So grab a sip of water. We're going to start in a plank position. Whew. Oh man, water tastes good, doesn't it? Somebody recently bought me a water bottle 
that says not vodka on it. <laughs> okay, we're starting in a plank, what we call a seesaw plank. Forearms on the mat, elbows under the shoulders, and then walk your wrists out so that they line up with your elbows. So your hands aren't clasped together. From this position, pull up through the toes, lift your body up, and seesaw forward and back. So let's try it, give her a go. Now if this is too much for you, you can hold a static side or a static plank off the knees, okay? So timer's off for 30 seconds. Neck nice and long. Time. All right, on your back, I want you to place your hands in the small of your back, so where the back of your belly button would be, and then lie down. Legs straight out. Pull your belly button in and feel that portion of your low back pressing into your fingertips. Now maintain that and slowly lower one straight leg down. If you can touch the mat or your ground, go for it and slowly back up. Either leg. So the whole exercise here is maintaining that pressure on your fingertips. So keeping that belly button drawn in. As you lower the leg, if you feel, hey, I can't keep that same pressure, stop the leg there and go back to start. All right, so the whole exercise is just maintaining that hold. Stop. Knees together, fingers light behind the knee head. Drop your knees to your left side, keep them there. Square yourself and lift up, lifting towards that right hip. Exhale as you lift. So you're not lifting towards the knee, you're still giving me a crunch straight up. Exhaling. Time. All right, before we do the other side, bring the legs up and we're gonna perform a bicycle. So knees lined up at the hips, Cycle one leg down, other knee into the chest, knees together, other side. If this bothers your low back, keep your feet on the ground and just lift one up as you lift and twist. So I don't want you to feel the bicycle in your back, only into your abs. And boy, do I feel my abs. Woo, baby. Time. Knees to your right. Now lifting up towards that left hip. Exhale as you lift. Ready? Go. So we've almost completed one full circuit. We're going to take it back to the seesaw plank after this. So your wrists aren't crossed over. Tuck your toes, brace your abs, and just lift and hover. Now, slowly, seesaw forward and back. So you're doing this through your feet. Alternative, modified plank on the knees and hold. Oh yeah, this is getting the abs. Love it. Don't you love it? Come on, say it with me. Love it. Time. Woo. All right, legs lowering. So fingertips under the small of your back, not your bum, small of your back. Legs up. Now pull that belly button in like you're pushing that low back into your mat and your fingertips, lower leg back up, other leg. Really advanced people, you can do double leg. Whoa, I'm not there yet. I just feel that in my back. Not cool, okay? Make sure you feel only your abs. Time. 
knees bent, drop both knees to your left so they're stacked on top of each other. Hands light behind the ears, exhale, lift towards that right hip. Before we do the other side, we're going to do those bicycles again. Knees lined up with the hips, hands light behind the ears, exhale, cycle. Remember your alternative, feet on the ground. one leg lunge forward squeeze that glute open up that back hip reach up and lean out of it circle that top arm behind you nice and slow getting some stretch into the shoulder and pec 
Straighten the front leg, drape yourself over your thigh, lengthening the back of your hamstring, or I guess that is where your hamstring is, the back of your thigh into your hamstring. Mine's tight today, how about you? Couldn't possibly be all those deadlifts, bridges, leg lifts. Nah. <laughs> Release. Let's bring the other leg. Here we go. Bring it forward. Good. Let's see if we can get this here. Good. Back glute engage. We release that hip. Reach up. Circle the arm behind. Nice and slow. Straighten that front leg. Now we got to release a bit into the glutes. We did a lot into the glutes, didn't we? So figure four, left foot, ankle crosses over the thigh, right thigh towards you, grab behind that right thigh or on top of the shin for a deeper stretch. Release, other side. And pull both knees into the chest, give them a hug, rock them side to side. And thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your support and would love for you to leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you as well as where you're from. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what the hell are you waiting for? Click the subscribe button below. All right, we'll see you next week out. Workout, bye. Week out? Ah, I'm delirious. See you later. Woo, that was a little epic. Good job.